the National Maritime Institute Wind Tunnel at Teddington. A tight-knit team of leading aerodynamicists studies the flow of air over the dramatic shape of a one-fifth scale model boat. Designed purely for speed, it has only one target, to become the fastest diesel-powered craft in the world. To achieve that aim, Miss Britain 4, as the boat will be called, must be capable of a minimum speed of 120 miles per hour. As a result of the tests, renowned English designer Don Shedd confirms the craft's characteristics, and with the design finalized, construction is commenced. This is entrusted to veteran boat builder Frank Clark, and during the winter months of 1981, the wooden hull slowly begins to take shape at his premises in Windbourne, Dorset. Nothing is left to chance, for the stresses exerted on a boat at high speed will quickly seek out any weakness. Every joint, every fitting is painstakingly checked and rechecked. And only when the highly skilled craftsmen are satisfied are components finally assembled. At the heart of Miss Britain 4 is Ford's new six liter industrial diesel engine, similar to that used in the new Ford Cargo, which won the 1982 European Truck of the Year Award. Specially developed by Chris Kay, technical director of Sabre Engines of Windbourne, and the man who will make the record attempt, the two-stage turbocharged unit develops 525 brake horsepower at 2400 RPM, more than enough to better the Italian-held record of 119 miles per hour. Every detail of its performance is carefully monitored during intensive bench tests. The unit is then assembled with loving care. Special pistons are fitted to lower the compression ratio and the Sabre engineers work to fine tolerances, paying minute attention to detail. By early 1982, the 26-foot hull begins to resemble its final shape. In his search for outright speed, Shedd has chosen the well-proven three-pointer configuration developed in the 1930s. Once the sleek craft builds up speed, it will lift from the water and skim over the surface, only three small planing shoes in contact with the water to reduce drag and increase speed. Finally, it's time to mate the engine to the finished hull. Every aspect of the installation has been carefully calculated, for even the smallest change of angle of the engine can affect the boat's performance. Miss Britain 4 breaks new ground, for it is the first craft of its type to use the Anson surface propeller. Developed by world expert Philip Roller, only the lower part of the 13.5 inch diameter unit is immersed at speed, reducing drag and enabling the boat to break free from the water it displaces. The first tests are carried out in Poole Harbour and confirm that the aerofoil wing tried in the wind tunnel is unnecessary. Kay's first runs on the calm water, similar to that he will require during the record attempt, are promising. As Miss Britain 4 planes smoothly over the flat surface, the Sabre Engineers team knows that it has the potential to achieve its target. Minor changes to the body work will be made, but a date is set for the record try. Coniston Water, in the heart of the picturesque English Lake District. Scene of many of the late Donald Campbell's record attempts in the past, it has been chosen as the ideal location. 
five miles long, it will provide 47-year-old Kay with all the room he requires to accelerate up to the required speed and then slow down again in safety. The real difficulty in Pool Harbour is that it's not long enough. Uh, and we, although we were able to achieve the speed in one direction, it was very marginal doing it in the other direction. Here we've got nearly twice the course length, total length, so uh, it's a much better situation for an attempt on the outright record. Wednesday, November the 24th, dawns misty and cold. But after delays waiting for the right water conditions, the lake is at last calm enough for a series of high-speed trials. Miss Britain 4 is ready to make her attempt. With only a slight swell to contend with, Kay embarks upon his first run. He flashes through the measured kilometre and the lobster-like hydroplane performs beautifully, confirming the promise it showed in the wind tunnel. The first speed run is a success. Kay achieves 123.58 miles per hour, well over the record. And fingers are crossed as he slows and prepares to let his weight die down before starting the backup run required before the UIM, the sport's governing body, will ratify any figures. Once again, Kay skims down the still lake, the Anson propeller displacing hundreds of gallons of water in a dramatic rooster tail, spray flying from the tips of the planing shoes. With the Sabre-developed engine running faultlessly, Miss Britain 4 proves equal to her task. In the cockpit, Kay knows that Fabio Buzzi's 119.05 miles per hour record from 1979 is about to be beaten. The second run is faster still, 124.89 miles per hour, and Kay's job is done. With a new record of 124.2435 miles per hour in his pocket, he steps ashore, triumph written all over his face. After years of Italian domination, the world water speed record for diesel-powered craft has fallen to Great Britain.